In this video, how to get the current date and time in PHP. So if you're using WordPress, WordPress has a setting in the settings tab that gives you the ability to change the time zone. If you're not using WordPress and you're using a different content management system, they more than likely have a place to set that current time zone. If not, and you want to do it in PHP, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video and how to format the date depending on what you are looking for. Okay, so let's get started. So here on the ideapro.io example.php page, we have our example.php page open here in the code. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set our time zone. Now, the time zone for this server is set um, in the php.ini as America Phoenix, but we're going to go ahead and set it again here and we can change it depending on what we want to do. And how we do that is we date underscore default time zone set. Okay, so that's a function already built into PHP that you can set the time zone. And if you saw, there is a date default time zone get, so you can get the current time zone. Okay, so we can actually do that. Let's comment that out real quick and let's do current time zone is equal to date default time zone get. Okay, then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna print out the current time zone. And we're gonna add a break after that just to keep it from running into this line of text that we have here. Okay, we'll come back over here and we're gonna refresh. And like I said, this is set as America Phoenix, okay? So then over here, we can change this. So let's say it's current time zone is set the way it is. Now we want to date default time zone set. And we're going to take that out of there. Now in here, we need to use the current time zone that we want to set it to. All right. And the best way to find those is just go to Google and type in PHP default time zones. And right here at the top, you have list of supported time zones from the manual of PHP, from the PHP manual, okay? So right here at the top, there's a table of contents. There's Africa, America, depending on where you are wanting to, where you're at or what you want the time zone to be set to. So I'm gonna set ours to the east coast of America. So we're gonna say America, and then we're gonna find just an east coast or eastern time zone to set it to. Let's see if we have, um, Los Angeles would be west. Uh, let's see what we have here. Let's find <laughs> Chicago. I think that's central. Right, let's go ahead and do Chicago. I think Chicago is central time, but we're gonna go ahead and use America Chicago. So we literally can copy from here and paste it into here with either single or double quotes there. All right, so now we've set the time zone up here. I mean, we're getting the time zone up here, so let's move this up here. So we're gonna, the current time zone is, um, we're gonna get the current time zone, then we're gonna set the current time zone, and we can get it again here, so we can print it here. All right, over here, did I do that right? Yeah, so I can do, come back over here and refresh. And so it was Phoenix and now we've changed it to Chicago. All right, so then down here, let's get rid of this text. Let's just comment this text out here. So down here, we want to get the current date and time. Now, most dates, and times that are written in to a database are in a specific format. And I'm gonna show you that format, and then I'm gonna show you how we can change that to whatever format we want, all right? So we're going to 
print out the date. And inside of here, we can use single or double quotes. And we're going to do uppercase Y dash M dash D. And those, the M and D are lowercase. And I'll explain that in just a second. Uppercase H, lowercase I, lowercase S. Okay. Now, this is how most databases accept date and times. So it's capital Y is the four year representation of the year. A lowercase Y would be the lower, the two digit representation of the year, which would be 21. Then the M is a, the lowercase M is a two letter or two number um, representation of the month. And lowercase D is a two letter lower, two number representation of the day. That gives you year, month, day with hyphens in between each one. Now this is H, capital H is the hour, which is the, um, the military time for hour, which would be zero to 23. And then I is minutes. Now this is where it gets kind of weird because M is used for month, so they can't use M for minutes, so I is used for minutes. And then S is used for seconds. Now, if we save this and come back over and refresh, it says today is um, August 9th, 2021 at 9.03 a.m. And that is the current time. Now, if I come up here, that's the current time for Chicago. If I come up here and I turn off the um, setting of Chicago. And we refresh. Now it's 7.03. So Chicago is two hours ahead of us. So by turning off the Chicago, we're going back to Phoenix time, which is two hours. So now looking at the difference in the date here, Let's turn Chicago back on. Whoops. Let's turn Chicago back on here and turn all that back on. Again, we're going to come back over here and refresh, and now it's 9.04. If we took this date, copied it, and brought it up here before we set the time zone and refresh. Oh, I need a, let's do a break after this. All right, so now we're gonna have, in Phoenix, it's 7.04, in Chicago, it's 9.04, okay? So you could use this to build out a, you know, world clock if you wanted to. All right, so the way we want to change what's in here to make it look different, more readable, is you could go to php.net, but you can just say PHP date. And then right here at the top is going to be the date for the manual in PHP. And I use this all the time. So we're gonna click that. And then this basically tells you how to use the date function. But if we scroll down, good ways down here, here is a, an example of different ways that you can format this to um, make it more readable. And it gives you this and then gives you an example out here of what this is. Okay, so if we use this one here, we copy that, come back over to our code, and paste that in there, save it, we come back over to the browser, and we refresh. Now it's gonna say August 9th, 2021, 9.05 a.m., but we didn't change this one up here, so it's still using that um, kind of database formatted date. Okay, so, it used to be here on the front page here for the date function, what each one of these were, but now you have to scroll up a little bit and click on date time interface format, I think. Yeah, here it is. So yeah, you have to click on that and come into this date time format. 
And down here it tells you lowercase d is day of the month, two digits leading zero. So it gives you an example over here. So you can use any of these combinations in here to format your date. That's how you get the current date and time in PHP. I want to make another video that ex explains how to get the differences between two dates, how to change the date depending on the number of days or hours that you want to add to the date. But I'm gonna do that in another video. I want to keep each one of these videos a little bit shorter. So as always, if you like this video, click the like button. Thank you for subscribing, watching, commenting, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.